what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is joe aka joey grows and thank you guys for tuning in if you guys are new to my channel i'm basically a new guy getting into the plant hobby world and if you guys haven't done it yet give it a like send a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't seen what has happened from the beginning of the clip i am dealing with thrips now for those who don't know exactly what thrips are, it's a type of pest that uh, is very hard to find and before it's too late, your plant is basically a goner. There is some, you can salvage it, but it's like a, a very small chance for that happening. But I'm gonna explain to you guys how to deal with it and what is your options when that happens in your plant possession. Uh, so basically, what thrips are these small little bugs and they can go from clear to black and they're very small and they're very hard to find. I've been through six plus months test free, even going through this whole conversion of using clay pebbles, but not all pests are as easy to get rid of. For example, thrips. They can also leap and fly. This is a very big issue when it comes to owning a lot of plants. When you're looking for these uh, for these bugs, they usually are underneath the leaf itself. So what you want to do is check underneath that plant. Now that it's winter, uh, a lot of these bugs will go into hibernation. And this is where it gets very difficult to even spot these bugs that are already very difficult to find but what will happen is they'll actually hibernate in your soil uh, plant litter or, and even in between these cells of your plants how do you how do you know what the thrip damage looks like sometimes it might be just overwatering or underwatering well that's the problem they look exactly like that but there are some distinguishing uh, factors that determine its thrip damage and the first thing you want to find is if there's any streaks, uh, streak markings, or any this nice silvery uh, film on the damaged part of the leaf. And sometimes they will, uh, the damage will be white or even a crispy brown, okay, brown spots. That's usually the first indication you'll probably notice. Just because it's the aesthetic of the plant, you'll notice damage right off the bat. And a lot of times, we will mistaken that as overwatering, underwatering, or even like what I thought it was, it was sun damage. Or in this case, I thought it was my light was too, uh, my plant was way too close to the fish for this guy over here. And look at it now, it's, it's just looking very ugly right now. The other thing you're gonna notice is little black dots, all right? That's the other thing you're gonna look for. And these little black dots are actually the poop of the bug, okay? They leave it there. And what sucks about this is that sometimes it's easy to wipe off and sometimes they're very difficult. What makes it even worse about these bugs is they also reproduce very quickly. So the moment they have a viable uh, source of food, they will lay their eggs in between your plants. And in between your plants can be the ends of the stems or even in between the, the leaf cells. So yes, they're laying their eggs in the plant. The result of this is plant stunting, all right? Uh, the, the growth will stop. And I, I can tell for this plant, it was growing very slow. At first it was growing really quick and then all of a sudden it just stopped growing. It has been in this size for quite a bit. All right, so now that I scared you guys, <laughs> there are some ways to go around this. And uh, we'll go through like the most easiest way, especially for someone who has one plant and they already found one. All right, if you find a plant with thrips, the first thing you wanna do is to quarantine, separate them from all the other plants. Like I said earlier, these things can leap and fly, but they don't fly very far, okay? So I know a lot of people like to group their plants together, but all it takes is just one leaf to make contact and that plant is going, uh, that thrip is going to just tag along and then that's it, it's gone. It's playing hide and seek with you, all right? Um, now, I tried a few methods myself, uh, just uh, aside from 
quarantining it from all my other plants is I try to shake the plants apart and try to find them to fall. However, these things can cling on, all right? And the other one is to spray your plant and water it down. And that's just to help control any more further damage. There's, you know, they might have already laid its eggs on the plant. So this is one of the ways where you have to just routinely do, I would say probably like a weekly basis, uh, just so you can, you know, keep getting rid of uh, those thrips. Just like fungus gnats when you're using the uh, sticky tape, okay? Which is another option you guys can use as well. Because these things like to leap and jump and go from one leaf to the other, they might mistake in your sticky tape as a leaf and it will get stuck there. So that's another option that you can also add on if your plant already has thrift. The other ones you wanna try to do is to get rid of the damaged leaf. All right, so as you can see here, you got a damaged leaf, all right, very simple. You're just gonna pick it off. And you wanna get rid of all the damaged leaves as much as you can, especially if they're breaking apart like this, all right? Thrips love to be around damage uh, or decomposing leaves just because, you know, it's easy to eat, okay? And it's easy for them to reproduce. So you wanna get rid of as much as that uh, plant damage. Even in the soil, if you have soil or just dead leaves around, you wanna get rid of it. Buying predatory bugs. So ladybugs, lacewings, these things will actually eat the bug drips itself. It won't, ha it won't damage your plant itself. However, if you're like me who have uh, plants in your space in, where you sleep, it's probably not a good idea to have bugs running about, okay? And the plants, again, like they don't damage your plants, but they will eventually die off once they have eaten all or cannot find any more thrips in your plant, okay? So that's something you can also try. Inventions, let's just say you have fully got rid of it to the best of your capabilities and that plant is something that is very close to you and you, you really don't want to get rid of it uh, again getting rid of those dead leaves is the first uh, method you should start and then the second thing and you should already have this especially if you're dealing if you have your own plants uh, collection is to have insecticidal soap and or some type of insecticide oil such as neem oil or horticultural oil. With the soap, it's a spot on uh, insecticide. So if you see it, you spray it, it's dead, okay? Whereas in oil, it's a protective barrier uh, where if uh, the type of bug makes contact on your leaf or any form uh, where it has contact with the oil, basically the oil is going to eat away the, the bug. It just goes through the nervous system and it just dies. That's how insecticide works. Worst case scenario, probably have to get rid of the plant. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. I'm sorry to say this, but that's probably the only option you have. For example, I had this given to me, which I've been trying my best to, you know, I wanted this thing long and droopy, just falling down from the ceiling. However, thrips got to it and it's just been very difficult for me to uh, get rid of the leaves and then chopping it and then throwing it back into this. It's just getting out of hand. Um, it was causing a little bit more problems. So unfortunately, this, he has to go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's not the end, okay? What you want to do with lots of your plants is to have plant insurance. Okay, there is a way, all right? Unfortunately for this guy, before I've already made uh, some plant insurance, he's already, there is already thrips all over. And uh, I see it and it disappears. And it's, uh, I, I can't deal with that, all right? So what you wanna do in terms of what plant insurance just means is to propagate, all right? You always wanna propagate ahead of time. All right, especially for very expensive plants or plants that you really, really uh, want to keep for a long period of time. For situations like this, propagation is the way to go. So what you're doing is you're cutting it and you're storing it into another pot or you're letting it to root up and making multiple of it. So that way, situation like this, you can get rid of it and you don't feel the guilt or the sadness because you have an extra one. 
I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. I know it's Christmas Eve right now, but enjoy it, especially with your family. Unfortunately, we cannot be with all your family members, but enjoy what you have. I know for me, I'm enjoying my collection and I hope you guys as well. And again, if you like what happened, if you have any comments or any suggestions, please leave a comment, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Again, Merry Christmas guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Look at that. Did the shake method and this is a larvae.